All right, we're back. Let's see if I can beat this bastard, man. He's beating the crap out of me. Yes, and we are fighting Orochi. Yes, Orochi. And he's giving Steve a hard time, that son of a bee. Yeah. Better fight that it's son of a bee. But he should be damn near dead. Oh, only one time. That, that gives me, that's a big break. Man, still not falling asleep. Yeah, he doesn't want to go to bed. What the hell? It's past your bedtime, Orochi. Go to sleep. Yeah, jeez. Try sap, dude. Yeah. He's not, he is not falling asleep. Oh, jeez. About... Oh, nice. Oh, yes. There we go. Ragnar takes him out asleep. Oh, Hirochi sword. Excellent. A Rochi sword is probably one of the best weapons in the game for, uh... Hey, you can't be retreating like that. Yeah, it look. Beats you. He goes in a traveler's door. Like a lava thing. But yeah, Rochi's sword is like one of the best swords in the game for, uh... What's, uh, for the... for a sage. Really? Um... Yeah. I should and when you use it in battle, it will cast defense. Nice. Maybe I should uh, use it for the. Uh, um, you think maybe I should transfer it over to the uh, hero right now? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Let me. Uh, Seeds there. Yeah, let me give this to uh, W Balls. Look at that. 146 to 171. It is a very good sword. I, I always thought it was like a, a katana kind of thing. Yeah. Because you're in, like, Japan, and you got a sword from a, from a, uh, dragon. Yeah. That's hill up. Where the hell that? Where'd she go? I don't know. Are you like that? No. I'm healing up just in case. That's it's, some messed up stuff. Yeah, let's travel through this traveler's door, if you can call it that. It looks like it. Oh, we're back in Japan. In, in that Himiko's area. Yeah, his lair, or her lair. You're bleeding very badly. What the heck? What in the world happened to you? Huh. Hey, what happened to Himiko? I'm, I'm sure you people can figure it out. Yeah. Oh, man. We're not leaving this room. Yeah. Oh. Himiko begins quietly whispering to us. You are the only ones who ever seen my true form. I'll let you live if you can keep your mouth shut. Let's see if we say yes. See, you made a wise decision now. No. I see. Well, allow me to see how well you taste. Okay, so maybe yes. she she does eat men. So yes, Emiko is really a Rochi. Yes. Uh, I think sleep's definitely not going to work this time. Try sap, dude. You want to sap? Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. This guy has 2,000 HP. 2,000. Yeah, so he actually somehow gained more HP. Okay, yeah, that makes no sense. He's hurt, but he gains more HP. Yeah. Look at the massive damage Ragnar is doing. Yeah. As long as he doesn't blow fireballs, I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, this this form he's a, a little more deadlier because I think he has another I think he has another fireball attack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he has a real weak one, like we just saw, and he has that normal one that he hit us with last battle. And if he does two rounds of those, some yeah. of your weaker characters might be dead. Yeah. Here we go. There he starts his bull crap. What's up? I wish Steve, uh, they did some boss music or something. I know. Because this would be cool if it had like a boss kind of music. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're taking a 
Damage away each time. Nice. Oh, if he could just breathe out a fireball, that'd be nice. Or he can attack us twice. That's fine with me. Yeah. Um, let's try... Huh. I don't think sap's gonna work again. Anything we can do? I don't think so. Mm, you can use snowstorm? Snowblast? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, 127. Yeah, yeah keep... Let's do increase again, why not? Does he even have increase? No. I think that's a wizard spell. This guy should be damn near dead now. Yeah, I wish that increase worked on, like, you know, fl whenever he breathes flames on us. No flames! Yes, a fireball. Thank you. Yeah, we have a fireball and it's like... Oh no, flames! Yeah, that's painful. There we go. There we go. Look at, dead, dead. Look at that, a lot of experience. Vivi goes up. Oh, by kill. Now, now we learn it. Yes. Oh, man. If only you learned it two battles ago, Steve. Yeah. By kill actually, what, doubles your attack power. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's an amazing spell. And Boom is a stronger version of Bang, which it's a, um, I can never get that right. It's a, uh, explosion. Yep. Explosive. Explosion-like spell. Yeah. Works on all enemies, so. Oh, you hear Orochi screaming for his life or screaming in agony. Turned out that Himiko was actually Orochi. The story spread through Japan like wildfire. Yes. We win and, and they lose. Yeah. Evil is defeated. Yes, and then the morning came. Oh, there's a treasure chest. It is the purple orb. Yay! How awful that Himiko actually turned out to be Orochi. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You're welcome. I think, I think the people in this town will mention something about um, that Himiko was like, there was a real Himiko, you know, and she must have gotten some happened. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I bet the real Himiko was eaten by Orochi and then, yeah. Yeah, and then Orochi stole her identity. Yeah. Himiko was a victim of identity theft. Yep. This calls for a celebration. All right, I'll bring the bong. Yeah. Uh, bring out all the sake you, you can. Yes. It is time to celebrate. Yes. Oh, I appreciate it, but we're no savior. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, we'll be heroes, but I don't want to be like someone you gotta worship. Yeah. <laughs> you are very welcome. Let's see if this girl's still hiding in the pot. Ah, oh, she's out. Yes, yeah, so now these two can live their lives and probably get married. Yeah, why not? What? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is a little kid. I don't know. Yeah, so he's been living a life. He's been, or she's been living a lie. Yeah. Yeah, because they, I think they said that because, you know, they didn't want, they didn't want her to get sacrificed. Yeah. So they made it like she's a boy. 
I've seen that happen in movies. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> she lied to us. Her child's actually a girl. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah. Harsh times call for harsh measures, I guess. Yeah, so hopefully Japan will be a peaceful place and no more earthquakes, damn it. Yeah, let's hope for no earthquakes or tsunamis or yeah. radiation. Um, where should we go next? Uh, I guess we can either go to Lancel. Yeah. We could... Yeah, I would probably say Lancel before we go to Salmonau. I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I guess we can try out Salmono just to check it out. You want to you wanna do that first? I mean, I think I'd rather do that than, I don't know. Well, yeah, you got to go by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Like want to check that out? Uh, what, Salmono? Yeah. Sure. Let's uh, return to. Salmonella. Yeah, Salmonella. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Salmonella Castle. <laughs> yeah, let's check on how our new uh, our new uh, <coughs> town. Doing, huh? Yeah, I forgot all about that. Hopefully, we didn't miss much. Maybe Emma has been working on the town pretty well, and we're gonna see a lot of progress. Yes. Oh, we did collect two warps, so. Town should be a little bit bigger now. Okay. There. Oh, look. That's a. It's a shop she was talking about. Ah, uh, it's just in the works. They really have nothing. Yeah. Come on, Emma. You're better than this. She's dealing her drugs so that we can get this shop done. <laughs> There's the old man. Hey, now he's got a door, right? Yeah. Who's better than him, huh? Huh. All right, so from here, where the hell do we have to sell? Uh, west? Let's see if it changes. Oh, look, it changed. Oh, look at that. It's much bigger now. Man, we leave for one second, and look what happens. <laughs> I know. There's an N. Thanks, drug money. Yeah. Cheap. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Emma is a fast worker. One second. Yeah. She's not at the hard worker. I like it. Yeah, she's not at the shop anymore. Oh, they got a couple new things. Nothing spectacular, but better than before. Yeah. Look, it has like a gold walkway around the little lake there. Does this old man have stairs now? Look at this. He's got a, he's got a second floor. Well, yeah, where in the hell's am I at? Well, maybe she's Living down here. Luxury. There she she's is. She's building over here, yeah. She's like Hassan. She's a carpenter. Yeah. Oh, she's building a theater. Cool. We could use a Broadway. Let's see if this works again. No, I don't think. No, I'm just still building a the theater. Yeah, I don't think there's anything all the way over here either. No. Oh, well, we'll come back. Yeah, we'll have to come back when we get in order. All right, so let's uh, travel north here because we need to get to a traveler's door to actually get to uh, Salmonella. <laughs> yeah. Because it's surrounded by mountains, so we just can't sell there. Yeah, we'll go to Green Lad. Let's Green Lad. Let's go. Okay, there it is. It's all the way up at the top. Yeah. Pretty convenient. Thank you. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. It's, uh, what? Uh, it's like Iceland or Green... Oh, Greenland, duh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go in this spot. Greenland's mostly ice and Iceland's mostly green. Yeah. That's funny. Ah, there's the house. Yeah, some lonely old man lives here. I guess he's like a wizard or something. It's been years since I've seen anyone. When was it last? Uh, I don't know. I must have been... Must have been when pirates came here. Is that the same pirates we went to? Yeah, uh... Probably. Oh, they, they was the same pirate. Yeah, they left that strange bone with me. 
By the way, have you ever heard about this ch uh, change staff, aka staff of change? No. With that staff, you can change the shape of your body into anything you can imagine. I heard that the king of Samanosa, that's where we're going, had something like it. Ah, yeah, we can reach it during, uh, through a traveler's door. That's what we're looking for. Oh, okay, he even lets us know. We have the final key, so there's no problem there. Yeah, man, this guy is giving us useful information. Yeah. Oh, small metal. Excellent. Man, we are racking up those small metals. Yes, we are. All right, we're going to have to go back there once we get this change staff. Yeah. There's a couple of places that we do find the change st ch staff of change that we could totally use it. Yeah. Let's see. I know. Oh, I know where it's at. Now, this place that we're going to right here, this little island, is called... I, I usually call it Metal Slime Island because you can fight a lot of metal slimes and occasionally a few metal babbles. Oh, W Balls reached level 28. Well, he didn't learn any spells, but that's okay. So this is, you call this Metal Slime, Metal Babble Island here. Yeah, because you can run into a lot of uh, Metal Slimes and occasionally a Metal Babble here, and it's a pretty good area to level up. Yeah, so this shrine actually has three travel doors. I think you want to pick the middle one. Uh, I think so. One of them travels to the... Um, Promontory of Olivia. Okay. Check later. Oh. This is it. This is it. Look at that. This is the Promontory of Olivia. Oh. Uh, Olivia, you ask? Some lady. Yeah. And she. She, uh. Yeah. Well, I think there's a bard in there that will tell you her story. Yeah. Yeah, this little area over here, I think it's north. Of more or something like that. Uh huh. Steve, do you ever get the leaf of the? You want to go check out that bard over there? What is that? He's he's in the, he's in that door up there. Up here? Where at? Up here? Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Olivia's promontory. Out of despair, Olivia threw herself off a cliff after losing her beloved in a storm at sea. They say that some sometimes her voice can still be heard in the wind, calling out to her beloved. If only if only somebody would offer her a memento of her beloved Eric. Surely Olivia's spirit would finally be able to rest in peace. Supposedly Eric's soul was struck on board a ghost ship somewhere lost at sea. So, ah, oh. That's the second time we heard about that ghost ship. Yeah, interesting things. Yeah, I didn't even see that door up there. Yeah, so we'll have to keep this in mind for much later. So, um, which one did I come out of? The bottom one? I think you came out of the bottom one, yeah. But yeah, remember that for later. Yeah. What else we're going to have to look up, Steve? Do you ever get the leaf of the world tree? No. This is where we want to go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll have to show off how to do that uh, later, too. Yeah, that's a house of healing in case you need it. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Let's check the map. So, yeah, see, we're down, we're down like, in the South American on the other side, but it's surrounded by mountains, but this is the only way to get in. Yes. So we're north of the ha House of the Pirates. We can only get here through that traveling door. Yep, okay. New enemies, Kongs. These guys are also susceptible to beat. Really? Yeah. See if we can do this before the episode ends. We got about a minute. Eh, they hit semi hard. Yep. Oh, we didn't die. That's okay. Oh, bastard. Oh no, you know what it was? It was the uh, bears. If we find any bears in this area, they are susceptible to uh, be. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Okay, guys, we'll, uh, we'll uh, actually travel to the kingdom of Salmonell in the next episode. We'll see you guys later. This has been WBalls03 along with Kenshin1913. Have a great day. <laughs>